in this game of peel and peg, Stephen Molliner is placing the balls in their initial positions. The hoops for the striker clip and the four peeling clips will be chosen by drawing numbered blocks out of a bag, and a flip of a coin decides who goes first. The first striker then elects whichever ball he wants as the striker ball and goes to position at the ball of his choice. As you can see here, Jeff Sue's striker ball is for hoop three, and the peeling opportunities are at two, three, five, and six. In this game, one only scores points by doing peels, not by making hoops. And only four hoops can be run in succession per turn. So he'll start at hoop three and obviously then do three, four, five, and six. And as you saw from the graphic, one peel gets one point, two peels get two points, three get four, four get eight, five get sixteen. And if anybody scores six peels in one turn of four hoops in succession, they win the game outright. So the striker ball blue is now for hoop four, which will be the second of its four hoops. And he just peeled black through hoop three. It doesn't matter what ball he peels through what hoop, but I'll keep track so we can see whether any pattern evolves to be the most successful way to manage these peels. Obviously, this game is a variant of association croquet, not American rules. Peeling clips are all the same color because it doesn't matter what ball you peel through what hoop.
Then he gets to practice something he would ordinarily use for a rubber peel. He's made three hoops with the striker ball, so now he just has one left before he has to peg out. And he has to peg out two balls in order to have the peeling points count. <laughs> I don't think yellow hit the peg, but I'm not completely sure. He can do this peel any time, I think. So he's going to come back and peel something through that hoop before he pegs out, probably. So Jeff Sue in his first turn got four hoops with the striker ball and two peels, but no points because he got no peg outs. Two new striker hoops are chosen by drawing from the bag to replace the ones he did get, and the striker ball carries over from the previous turn. The new striker gets to pick what ball he wants to use and obviously goes to position for a rush peel in this situation. No. It looks like Steven is setting up to get two peels before he ever makes a hoop. He is well on his way to making a lot of peels, and this is the only way anybody's ever going to get six peels, is to make two before you ever make a hoop with a striker ball. There are no hoop lifts in this game, so there's nothing special about making one back or four back. Harshman made one hoop, so the striker clip moves, but no peels were made, so there's no need to draw from the bag for any new peeling hoop positions.
digital gremlins took over at this point. I think I paused and forgot to start again for a while. Simon scored one point in this turn, probably by peeling yellow. Sue and Molliner then had turns with no points. And now we pick up the action with Ian Harshman playing red, which is for hoop three. I couldn't reconstruct where he started with the striker ball on this turn or what the peeling hoops were, but by backtracking the score, I know for sure that he did get one peel and then pegged out two balls for one point. So, are you working? Are you Get a chance, I'd love to play a game. Thank you. Ten things you want to work on. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. If he's going to peg out, and then they can score some points, but I don't think he got any points. Yeah, you got this peel. That's right. So they only get one point. But if they don't pay out, they don't get any point. Simon hasn't played in an hour. Okay, have fun. Hit him straight, likewise.
Just to make sure the graphic is clear, the striker is now for hoop five, which would be his second of four hoops, and he just peeled yellow through three back. And he's leaving a ball for future peeling through hoop one. And he could have been thinking of black as an escape ball had he been able to get blue into peeling position. Jeff Sooney and Harshman are up 3-1 to one over Stephen Molliner and Simon Jenkins. That's Simon's dog, Twix, like a candy bar. A lovable mascot at the National Croquet Center and anywhere else Simon Jenkins go.
leaving the ball by a healing hoop by bashing it into the hoop. I wonder why he just didn't do a thin takeoff. Watch this incredibly casual peg out from probably eight yards away. If he can do that, why does he ever get down on the ground to line the balls up? Since the first pegged out ball doesn't get moved, I'm surprised there haven't been any jump shots to peg out the second ball in these games of peel and peg. And the score is now three points apiece. Any hoop with one clip on the side and one on top is a real opportunity in this game. And I'm guessing that nobody's ever going to score six peels in one turn without having two hoops set up that way by chance, of course.
Now there is an opportunity.
And with that, Mulliner and Jenkins are now up 5 3. The Americans don't seem to place as much importance on putting the node of the milling pattern of the striker ball against the key lead. Or maybe it's just because there's no pull on the shot anyway, because it's going to be a pretty thin takeoff. the dreaded turn-ending rush into the peg. And in this game, since all balls are for the peg at all times, it can happen at any time. Sue Harshman, three. Mulliner Jenkins, five.
He's tempted, but with red and blue by four and three respectively, he'd have a lot of trouble pegging out if he tried to do this rover peel.
Yeah, but don't worry. I'm not going to use it. Why don't you give me... Why don't I, I need to go to the party, but then I'll just get a cab and come to your place. Yeah. Or Uber? Yeah, Uber would be better, probably. Yeah. yeah. Let me just... Uh, I probably... Okay. All I got to say. Let me check the deal. What happens is, they're like 20 kind of minutes ago. This, you have to listen to this. Because when you go in the gate, the cab goes there. It just sort of goes straight and ambles off to the right. Okay? And the first opportunity to make a right hand turn, you do so. so you get, and, my, and you go down two buildings to my, to the end. My drive. Okay. So the first chance to make a right is right. Okay, it's called, it's called the Caribbean. Okay. And it's got 26. You know, look up. You look up on top of the, you know, like the fourth okay. floor. All right. And I'm on the third floor. All right. Okay? All right. But you're certain to look up, and I'm just... I well, just, text it to me, and if for some reason I find something else, I don't have to come all the way yeah, down there. I'll no, do that. No, but I'm just saying. But no, in. it's great. This is a chance for me to go by the office to you get there yeah. early. Go I, for it. I don't need to have Chinese. And Maybe I can just go to Meg's place. I'm like that. Yeah. <laughs> She's got her daughter. Oh darn. <laughs> but they love to have. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, put that in the audio. <laughs> Got it. Oh. This is the first time in this game anybody's made three peels in one turn. They now will draw another block out of the bag and position a clip on five, as you can see, so there's always two peeling clips available. I'm sorry. Russell, RS dot Billy at Okay. Email or message? Yeah, the Troy Allen's. So then you you know where uh, Palmetto Park Road is? Yeah. And you know where Camino Real is? Yeah. Sort of. Oh, okay. It's called World Park Way or 18th Street. Okay. And I'm located right between Federal and Dixie. Okay. Between Federal and, like, there's 150 feet between Federal and Dixie, mm -hmm. right in that 150 feet.
What happens in this game if you just peg out one ball? We're good. Doesn't we'll peg out both. To score any points. Three Peels scores four points. Sue and Harshman lead eight to seven. Three one seven nine zero three six eight five two. So, get a cent. Oh, those are both in the country. I don't know. Why don't I just put in the phone number?
I'm not quite sure how they're playing out this ending, but I'm guessing that both Ian and Simon have another turn. So if Ian can pull ahead, then Simon gets a chance to win. If not, it's probably over. And the body language says it's over. Sue and Harshman had eight points. Mulliner and Jenkins had nine to win this hard fought game of Peel and Peck.